Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to another episode of Extinct Breaks Originals. And for this very, very special episode, we will be featuring the Statosaurus Lego costume from the movie King Kong of 2005 by Peter Jackson. But before we head on with this video, I'd like to say thanks to YouTube.com and the library for this awesome background music. Please also like, share, and subscribe, and hit this notification button. And to be able to support my channel, please do keep on all the ads on all my videos. You may also like to follow me on all my social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Leica. Where I'll be posting some of my exclusive photos and video clips as well. So I'll see you there, everyone! The guest PC card swingers will be announced later on in the video, but for now, let us continue on with the video on... The Making of the Statosaurus! So this is how the Vestalosaurus looks like before or during our kit bashing portion. So there are several adjustments to the base uh, figure which is the Indominus Rex. There you see I also used the uh, arms of the T-Rex and replaced the tail with a much more bulkier one and longer as well. So before I began with uh, sculpting of this figure, I adjusted the head so that it will have a high ridge um, for the eye. And so this is how it looks like before the actual sculpting. So for the sculpting process, I actually use a non-sag epoxy uh, clay of equal parts, A and B. Just mix them together and uh, it will be uh, just like clay or play-doh so you uh, mold them up on uh, the adequate shape that you want on the figure itself. So for this case, it's the Vestatosaurus. The Vestatosaurus actually has this weird looking um, head to it. It has gnarly teeth on, uh, in the front and big ones as well. And here is how the Vestatosaurus looks like after it's been uh, sculpted. It usually takes around 4 hours or 5 hours even to cure the clay. Then I started off by using this foam material to add on some uh, details on the back. And here is how it looks like before I'm actually doing the primering of the uh, Vestatosaurus. It took me around 4 hours just to attach all of those details on the back. <laughs> so here is the Vestatosaurus after it's being primered. For those of you who are asking, the primer that I use here is Boston number 68 in gray. And after this has thoroughly dried, it's now time for us to paint the, the Statosaurus Rex. And of course, we will be needing references. So among the references that I use here would be a toy uh, that is a Statosaurus Rex and also a, um, a render or a concept done by Luca2591. So we'll be needing brushes, of course acrylic paints, and of course water. Okay, so let's start the paint. So we do start off with the uh, lighter colors first. So I use here um, white plus a little bit of ochre yellow and just a touch of green and brown. I colored this on the uh, lower portions of the Vastatosaurus Rex which would include of course the lower jaw, the underbelly, and the um, underside of the tail. The Milbis Satosaurus is actually bluish gray in color, so for this one I used uh, or I just mixed uh, gray with a little bit of blue and a uh, touch of green and just a little tinge of uh, brown. It's looking a little bit like sand blue but uh, when acrylic actually dries, it's a little bit darker than this one. So once that is dried, we uh, mix this one with a little bit more black and then apply it to the darker parts of the figure.
other side was actually satisfied by this one but then again I need to have that particular transition from the gray to the yellow so I mixed this color up uh, just mixing the gray that I have already and the yellow that is uh, actually used earlier and it came up with this uh, transition between the yellow and the gray parts and for this one I actually uh, painted that um, on some of the details on the face as well as that of the body, uh, especially those of uh, the parts where in uh, the meat, the yellow and the gray actually meets. So using the gray that I have earlier and mixed with a little bit of black to make it darker, I paint individual scales. It took me a while to finish this one but it's actually uh, very relaxing and therapeutic in some samples. I don't know why. I'm weird. Then using that same color, I paint on the details on the feet, which are actually the scale details that I usually use on all my tar mods nowadays. After that, on with the details, which actually includes the nails, um, the claws, the teeth, and even the insides of the mouth. Now, the Stanosaurus in the movie has uh, a lot of details to it, although it's not very apparent. But it does have um, details of scales all around its body, 
and we're doing that by using this metal brush and dipping it into the uh, lighter colors that we have. Then making all the details on the sides of the body. Then all we need to do is just uh, paint on the eyes and then, uh, you know, protect it by using varnish. Usually I use flat varnish on non-aquatic creatures, so probably you would also use that as well. I would suggest highly. And now it's time for us to have the guest PC contest winners, and here they are. Here are the Lucky Pig Springs. Short Crossing, Passes de Vida, Godzilla Power Pack Fan. Some Dude, Paolo Cesar, Eric Mondragon Valiant, Sunarat, Rathalus, Julian, and Werewolf195. Congratulations everyone and now for our top 10 winners! Top 2 Jack Lala Customs Top 3 Mandy Omar Top 8 Red Wolf Top 7 ZV New Jack Torch Top 6 I'm back, Sucker Speaker. Top 5. Timo Madden. Top 4. Mikael Kostinov. Top. Bajin Vermeulen. Top 2. Aiden Stevenson. Top 4. And Maximum Power. Congratulations, everyone. I'll see you in the next Guesses PC Contest! For those of you who'd like to join, here's how! Just click on the Extinct Breaks icon and it will lead you to the Extinct Breaks homepage. And the homepage, just click on the community link and it will lead you to all my posts. Close. I actually liked this movie and watched it for several times. Well, it's now time for us to have the sound breaks. First, let's count it off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 parts to this one. Let's start with the head. Let's connect this to the lower jaw. Alright! Now let's connect this to the body. followed by the arms. So we have here the left and then the right. And then let's follow through with the legs. And now there are three parts to the tail. This is the base, the mid tail, and of course the tip. And voila! That completes our Vestatosaurus Rex. And on with a closer look. Alright, so do you remember this scene wherein King Kong is actually battling with the Stratosaurus Rex? He was hardly, you know, standing up because he has to carry that pretty girl. <laughs> this Stratosaurus Rex is actually based off from that same movie in 2005. It took some years before a dinosaur movie followed through, so uh, this was actually one of the staple movies that I've uh, seen every now and then. Okay, so uh, we are very excited to show off the Vestatosaurus Rex, and that includes Moira. Although she's a little bit tipsy during the fight, <laughs> she'll be coming back later for some size comparisons. Right, Moira? Okay, so it's now time for us to have the closer look on this one. But before that, if you have been following me or have been watching some of my videos already, then you've probably seen King Kong. Uh, I did a few changes to this one and uh, probably I'll be releasing another video of this so watch out for it guys. Let's proceed with the closer look. So this is the Vestatosaurus and it has some details to it which I'll be showing you more clearly. So the paint job on this one will have you know other than the scaling details there are also other paint uh, details on the scale as well. So uh, these are scattered all throughout the body as you can see. Alright, so it has this uh, gnarly teeth on it and uh, the insides of the mouth are also painted as well. It has 2x4 uh, studs very similar to that of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. As for movement, it can uh, look up and down and twist its head all around. 
And similar to the Indoraptor, it can actually open its mouth like so. Arms, legs, movable, as well as the tail. And since the tail has three parts to it, it has a variety of movements and also articulation. Alright, so that is it for our closer look on the Vestatosaurus Rex. We can now move on with the size comparisons. And of course, in the size comparisons, I'll be bringing back the um, Vestatosaurus Rex here and of course, its main antagonist or its enemy, King Kong. Both of which are very large creatures as you can see in the movie and uh, I think the scale of this one with that of Moira is just around uh, the same or accurate to that of the movie. <laughs> Let's play with them some a little bit more. Ah, King Kong is losing. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Stop fooling around, Alan. Alan? Alan! <laughs> There you go. Okay, so we have them both standing and uh, comparing them with the minifigure here, which is Moira. It's just around the size, the the books, the correct size as that of the movie. It also has the poster or the uh, thumbnail that I have here uh, depicting King Kong and the Vasarosaurus Rex, and of course a little girl Moira in the middle. And to be more visual, here is a screenshot of the Vasarosaurus Rex with Naomi Watts. It's just about the right size. Thanks, Moira! We can now move on with the rest of the uh, comparisons. We will be comparing first with this one. This is the Extinct Rex Venatosaurus. The Venatosaurus is also part of that same movie and one of those that are, you know, very similar to a raptor. Okay, so it's actually longer than a raptor and uh, it looks more lizardy to me than a uh, you know, a dromaeosaurid, but nonetheless, that is the Venatosaurus for you. Now, please, smaller than that of the Venatosaurus Rex and even King Kong. Next up, the comparison would be the original Venatosaurus Rex. You probably is missing this, is because it's from 1961. The Venatosaurus uh, Rex was actually a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So let's compare with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So there is a lot of difference in terms of the head shape. The teeth as well. Uh, the number of fingers also is different from that of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. When you compare it uh, uh, on the top view, you can see that the, although the T-Rex will have a bigger head and neck, it is actually longer than that of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So here they are side by side. So let's keep it balanced and get the next one. This is the Extinct Rex Box Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now there's not a lot of you know um, uh, differences in terms of size and length. Uh, this is actually a recent uh, do-over or a custom of mine. So if you do have the time to look at this particular video, then please do so. Looking at it from the top, you can see that the Vasarosaurus Rex is indeed um, larger than that of this T-Rex but in actuality, I think the Tyrannosaurus Rex would be around this size compared to the Vasarosaurus Rex. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. In the recent Jurassic World Dominion trailer or a teaser, there is actually a battle between the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Giganotosaurus. So we're uh, bringing out the Extinct Rex Giganotosaurus here. Uh, the head is definitely larger than that of the Vasarosaurus uh, Rex here. If you're going to compare it, definitely the Giganotosaurus will have a longer uh, head to it. And although in terms of size, I think they are, they are actually around the same uh, length. But uh, nonetheless, the Vasatosaurus Rex looks a little bit more bulkier and larger than this one. And even longer, I guess. Okay, so uh, we can now move on to the next one. Let's just keep this balance for a while. Well, the uh, Vasatosaurus Rex is actually a reference photo for one of the more recent uh, hybrids for Jurassic World, which is the Indominus Rex. You can see here some of the uh, similarities in terms of um, scope. The Indominus Rex has this gnarly teeth to it, very similar to that of the um, Mastatosaurus Rex, and also has several scalings as well from the head, 
the neck going towards the body. Although the scaling of the Vastanosaurus Rex is uh, more finer or finer than that of the uh, Indominus Rex. Another difference would be, of course, the uh, the arms. The arms of the Vastanosaurus Rex is relatively smaller than that of the uh, Indominus Rex, of course, because it's more in keeping with that of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So I guess uh, the design of the Indominus Rex is very similar to that of the V-Rex. <laughs> well, let's move on with the next one. This is the Extinct Rex Malosaurus. The reason why I'm bringing out the Malosaurus is because it's actually one of the hybrids that were actually being um, scrapped out in, in the movie for Jurassic World. And uh, I think it would have been cool if this is also included there. Uh, but the Indominus Rex is actually one cool hybrid as well. The Mangosaurus actually has this fantasy look to it with that um, peculiar crest on its nose and uh, high uh, quills on, uh, on top of its sail already. <laughs> Anyways, it would have been nice to see a Malosaurus ba battling uh, a V-Rex or even King Kong. What do you guys think? I guess we have one more room for one additional um, comparison. This is the Extinct Rex Ultimosaurus. There's no actually particular reason why I brought this out. I just miss playing with it. <laughs> so this um, Ultimosaurus is actually uh, Compare, comparable in size with that of the V-Rex. You can see that it's almost the same uh, length and even the same uh, features. It's bulky, it has this really large head to it. Uh, the only difference would be of course the Ultimosaurus is an ultimate dinosaur! <laughs> it has this Triceratops forehead, um, uh, really large claws for heads, single claws for the feet, and a Ankylosaurus club on the ends of its tail. It also has additional accessories such as this chain on its hands. <laughs> well, that ends our size comparisons. We can now move on to the next portion of this video. This is the Extinct Rigs Species Roll Call. And we have all of these creatures now for you to see. So if you do have other uh, suggestions of other hybrids or maybe from other movies that are also uh, dinosaur themed or extinct, uh, extinct creatures themed then uh, feel free to comment them down below don't be shy i do read all your comments and answer appropriately whenever i can also Mora here would like to remind you all that all of these creatures are available in extinct breaks playlist so do check them out guys I will be placing also individual links to all of these creatures on the description box below just for the ease of access. Alright, so let's have this PC roll call. Let's start with um, this one, the Extinct Rex Palosaurus. This is the Extinct Rex Giganotosaurus. The Extinct Rex Venatosaurus. Extinct Rex Indominus Rex. This is the Extinct Rex Tyrannosaurus Rex back from the Lost World. Extinct Rex Ultimosaurus. Extinct Rex Tyrannosaurus Rex. Extinct Rex King Kong. And of course, the star of the show here, the Extinct Rex Bastatosaurus Rex. Roar! Well, that's about it for our species roll call. We do have a birthday celebrant, so happy birthday to Sidarius Pryor. Happy birthday from the Extinct Rex family, and now on with our last looks. The V-Rex's name means Ravenger Lizard King. It was an extremely large species of theropod dinosaur that was found in Skull Island. It can grow up to a length of 50 feet and about 20 feet tall. The V-Rexes were not designed to be an accurate representation of dinosaurs continuing on to evolve on the isolated environment, but were instead designed to be the scariest thing Kong could ever fight. Moira, King Kong is here to save you, but the Vastanosaurus Rex is a formidable enemy. 
and that ends our video on the Bastanosaurus Rex. I hope you enjoyed guys and thank you for watching of course. Always grateful for all your support guys. Thanks! Also please don't forget to support our other channels we have EB Toy Universe and The Adventures of Moira and Asher. Please watch your videos and support your channel as well by subscribing. And as we always would say, let your inner data break roar! Thanks everyone!